Hi everybody, thank you for tuning back in. This is Dancing Star Philly. Uh, again, I apologize for the lighting. I'm gonna do better soon. So I'm connecting with you guys to do the third week of July tower reading for Virgo. So, my Virgos, how are you doing? How's my Virgo? My fellow Earth signs. Coming to you, my darlings. We have the Emperor. That's an Aries card. And we have the Hierophant. That's a Taurus card. Just basic knowledge for you. Wow. Wow. As I peek on the floor, I saw that there is also a Two of Cups. But before that, we have the two still of ones. All right, fire energy, water energy. The queen of pentacles. Six, sorry, seven of wands. And the last shuffle for my Virgos. Those tuning in with me. Very nice. And the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. The Empress. Wow. And the High Priestess. Wow. You know why I'm wowing? Because, my darling, you have five major arcanas, meaning you have five of the, let's say, the powerful cards or the powerful messages. And then you have court cards, which are still powerful, but they give us more um, an insight in the storyline. So, my darling, so you're trying to bring someone closer, but there is major players You have a very strong mother figure, that's the high priestess, and a very strong father figure, that's the emperor. But you're defending yourself. So, for some of y'all, this is you trying to get out of a marriage, but there's a mother and a father figure telling you not to. You're looking at someone that you feel is true love. All right? They are your equal. And they're looking at you the same way. 
for some reason, this is not you. This is the other person. And they're looking at you the same way. You see how sad she is looking at her lovely in her hand or his lovely in his hand. And I want to say that's you. You have also, the that's the world, but, you know, let's call it like a circle uh, of magic. <laughs> and they're looking at you the same way. You both want to come together. But in between you, There might be people working against that. And I'm sorry about that. But before I apologize too soon, I'm sorry, this is like pure channeling. If it's taking too much time, I apologize. Uh, you can move forward. Um, you, I feel like you guys will be triumphant. Because that's card number three, the Empress. And it's like you and that person. And, uh, you know, the third element would be like God. You know? Would be uh, a godly energy, whatever God you believe in. And he's working as the magician for you. You know, that entity is working as a magician to manifest this for you. Because he or it knows that this is what you need. You know, both your scales are balanced, you and your loved one. And this is what you need. And what's beautiful is that you're both looking at guidance. Take that person as guidance. All right? You're both looking up and asking for guidance to bring y'all closer. To transform maybe, let's call it the devil energy or whoever's in, intruding. Whoever is intruding. You know? Maybe there are very powerful people and they have a big say in your relationship. It could be from a friend who you, you're asking advice from, you know, and therefore you're listening to them, hence they are powerful because you're giving them the power. All right? And there is a defensive energy. So there is like defending your rights, defending your motives, you know? You went from the two of wands to the seven. Seven is a godly number. So you're defending that this is meant to be. Why are you not letting me have it kind of kind of defense, all right? The six is the lover's card. But the six can also be um, the devil. In, in the tarot, it's the lovers. So you see how God can be playing magician, kind of like tricks, you know? As a six, he's playing the tricks, kind of like devilish tricks, because even God can play games even better than the devil, to bring you people closer. But you are seven. So when you are in a seven, God is entering like, don't worry. You stay in your seven, in your godly energy, and I will do what it takes. Wow. I will do what it takes. Maybe you want to have children with that person. You know? Empress is also the card. This is also you, uh, Virgo. Empress is also the card of beauty and fertility. So maybe you want to have children with that person. You know? Maybe some people are telling you, like, no. I don't know. You already have children. Or no. They're not father material, that new person. But some, for some of you, that new person is secretive, is a secret. 
that father figure or that friend who's a man is very confused. If it's that person you're trying to get out of a relationship from or a marriage from and he's not understanding, he's confused of why would you want to do that? Maybe I'm rich and I have what it takes and I'm, you know. Wow, this video is pure channeling, you guys. Um, the storyline is very clear for me. Two people wanting to come together. Um, but we have a knowledgeable mother or a mother that is using religion or a certain kind of knowledge in order to um, reject an idea. And it's very rare that I use the high priestess in that sense. But that's how the card is speaking to me today. On the other hand, you can easily transmute that energy, my darling. Why? Because you have three twos. Two, two, two. That love can convince the mother. That love can convince the mother. Let's put the father on the side. It can convince the mother and it can let you both enter the portals. Maybe that's someone in the spirit. I don't know. The portals, yeah? The portals. Maybe you need to travel to see that person. You know, even though the mother has a lot of information also, you guys, your love is the information, <laughs> you know, your love is the information. And by love, I don't just mean feelings. Uh, I mean a love that is factual, a love that is abundant, abundant, hence the fruits, a love that is occurring and reoccurring all right do i want to say something else for my virgos yeah i'm gonna keep the bottom of the deck thank you do i want to say something else for my virgos you're building with that person you're building don't worry change is gonna come change is number five the number five, maybe that relationship or marriage that you one of y'all is involved in will dissipate. When? How? Because of your desire for one another. What's that number? Number seven. Beautiful. You have two sevens, two fives, three twos. Because of your love for one another, because of the hard work that you've done on the physical, maybe dissipating karma, maybe dissipating negative energy, you know? Big fertility for you. You will reap what you sow in a positive way. You will, you know, take that harvest and very satisfied person here very satisfied person or soon to be satisfied take it how it resonates you know some people go like yeah it's not true it's not coming in i mean the work needs to be done for you virgo it seems like you have done the work all right my darling so wait be patient stay in love feel the love through and through and inshallah all the best for you I see it here. If you'd like to see a screenshot of your spread, you can go on my Dancing Star Philly uh, on Instagram and it will be there. All right, my Virgos, I love you so much. I send you a lot of love, a lot of light and life. And as I always say, see you when the sun rises. Ciao.